got a Trollson I just put into manual defrost. You see there's a bunch of ice on the pipes and whatnot. <clears throat> and that's my defrost circuit. I got no amps. Uh, let me dig over, over here some more. I want to take a look. Maybe we got a bad defrost safety. Or bad defrost heater. Or bad relay pack. Yeah, we'll take a look here. Got a little three-door Trollson. And there's a two-door over there that we did a bunch of work on. Some videos way back when. So half the battle's getting there. Everything. So we got the lid off. Yeah, we got a giant iced up Ice coil of Titus. I put it in defrost. I wasn't showing any amps and it actually came out of defrost. Got iced up coil titus. Oh, that thing is iced up super coil titus. So I need to get into here. Oh, here they are, right here. All right, the bigger wires right there are going to be for the defrost heaters. I'll take an amp draw reading down here too. But I did watch it come out of defrost, uh, and it shouldn't have. So we might have a bad evaporator sensor, which is real common. Um, and we can confirm that if that's the case. But I wanted to grab just one little wire right here. Hold on a sec, I'm trying to get it in there. All right, there's the unit. I had put it in manual defrost and it came out, as you can see. So, let's see what temperature that sensor's reading. Zero. A. One. Set point. for E2 for my evaporator sensor. There it is. Yeah, the evaporator sensor is reading 48 degrees. So it's definitely the evaporator sensor has gone bad. But watch this. Let's put it in manual defrost. Um, I had to go back to customer setting. Zero, alpha, uno. Let's go to on. All right, that's supposed to put us in manual defrost right there. Let's see if we get any amps. Very, very little on the amps. Let's see what, oh, yeah, there, oh, there it was. I had two amps there for a second. Oh, let me get my meter. All right, so I put it back in defrost, took it all apart, disconnected the evaporator sensor, which is also... You know, puts us in defrost, takes us out of defrost. Now I got amperage on my defrost heaters. So I know my defrost heaters are good. So I need to get all this ice melted off and then replace this evaporator sensor. And uh, old school Trollson. Fun times, but. Got ice stuff. Coil of Titus, iced up coil of Titus. Let's see. I got a bunch of different sensors down here. I don't know if 
I have the blue one. We'll take a look. I'm not seeing it right now. But at 70 degrees, I'm looking for about 12k ohms. Let's see if this one's close. I'll get it on the grabbers and we'll test the uni. Little uni T. All right, this probe right here will work. It's in the same ohms value. So I know it's almost 70 degrees out here and that's what the Trollson book said. So I don't have the Trollson sensor. This is the Penn Johnson sensor for like the A421s. Let's see what that reads. K ohms at 70 degrees. Yeah, it's the other style probe. So this is the Penn Johnson probe hooked up. That's read 1.015, so. Different probe types. Different, ohm, different ohms values. But I looked up on Charleston's website. This one here will work for the evaporator. There's my dead sensor. I just cut the Molex connector off of it and then connected it to my new probe. And let's put the new probe in. Oh, I just melted all the ice off too. So we got a clean coil to work with. And we'll get this probe in there. There it is. All right, I uh, hooked probe up. I'll show you guys how you can check your probe temp on here in just a second. Uh, threw it back into manual defrost. We are back to defrosting. I do have the probe in the coil. So when it senses that it's warm enough, it'll kick it out of defrost. So that is also your defrost termination. So I'm going to let the heaters dry the rest of that coil out real good. Hey, you can hear it. Cook her, cook her up. I'll get the lid back on there and tidy her up a little bit. All right, want to check your probe. Get to customer setting, 0A1, set, and then go to EL. That's your evaporator sensor, EL, right there, hit set. That's your evaporator temperature, because we had the heaters on, it got up to 58. This is where it kicked out of uh, defrost and back into the freeze mode, so I wanted to check that. Okay, box is coming down now. So that was a bad evaporator sensor causing coil, iced up coilitis. This condenser needs a little more cleaning out. Looks like they tried to clean it, but they get to the bottom. My little brush will get in there pretty good. And that makes for a fun little day. Sensor, action. Three beef specialer. One, two, three. All right, we'll take the we'll take the cover off and reset the unit, and then we'll run some checks on it. I got one more screw. I forgot that one over here. A little hidden. top tube and see if it's plugged. Okay, the water pump's good. Let's see what everything else looks like. Let me rip this thing apart and clean it real quick. Alright, I pulled the water tubes out. Let's take a look. Plug-o. Plug-o, plug-o. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that one right there. 
Yeah, that'll give you a code three. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at this one right here. Oh, and at the end of the line. Alright, let's check a little pool of water fill tube out and then check the eggshells. Let's get a look up there. Rust-oleum. Remember when we were kids, it, the spray paint was rust-oleum? This is crust-oleum. It's like everything turned green, like someone just poured a gallon of ice machine cleaner in here. What a joke. I'll get you up there in just a second. Mm, eggshells are good and filthy. Look at that. I gotta do some scrubbing bubbles on these dudes. Look at all the crap coming off of them. Man, oh man, oh man. The water tube doesn't get to you. Too pleasant. It's dirty. Uh, I gotta scrub it. And then this we, we gotta take all apart and clean it big time. This dude right here is the film master. Hmm. Let me get cracking on this stuff. Chunks. Chunkatitis. This one kind of cleaned up good. We got the, we got her cleaned out super good. It's got perma stain from the ice machine cleaner someone dumped in there. But <clears throat> we're gonna get some good water flow now. Yeah, hey, what was that that came off of there? Mmm, tasty. Mmm, tasty. Oh, that doesn't sound the best. No, it doesn't. All right, so I didn't like the uh, frost, frost pattern <clears throat> and the way the evaporator is not getting cold into the free cycle. It's probably been 10 minutes. So I went ahead and put my smart probe on. I'll show you guys a screenshot. Uh, we got a weak compressor, so it's, that compressor is low capacity. You can hear it. And that's why we're getting a three a three beep. It's not gonna make ice within the time, if it even makes ice at all. All right, here's a look at our pressure and our evap temperature about 10 minutes into the freeze cycle. So I got bad suction valves in this compressor. It has low capacity. So the party's gonna be over for this unit. I'm not gonna put a compressor in a 10 year old ice maker. All right, I uh, texted the owner and uh, he took it pretty good. He's gonna buy a new, a new ice maker, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. They buy them on the internet and then send them out, so. Anyways, uh, hit, the, hit the like button, smash the subscribe if you have not subscribed yet, it would help me out a ton. And uh, hit the little bell, get notifications when I post up a new video. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Wait. All right, all right, all right, YouTubes, I'm leaving the bar. Everyone's taking a picture of the fucking vagina license plate. These two guys got it. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, <clears throat> the vagina is legend from the bar. No, 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 no. NorCal Dave's not drinking and driving. I had iced tea. Yeah, you know, you can go to the bar and get a sandwich and not have a cocktail. That place makes killer food. Just get an iced tea and, and then you're good. You're good to keep her rolling. <laughs>